Hello everyone, this is Epic 3D Builds here, and today, this is part 2 on my series on how I made this New Zealand Soldier P boat. In this part, I'll be talking more about the digital process of making this boat. Now let's get into the video. So here we have my Soldier GP model on the Fusion 360. I think it turned out quite well and I like the design. I took inspiration from New Zealand culture like the Maori patterns and the silver fern. I also made three versions of their boat because they have different size sails for the different strengths of wind. If there's very strong wind, they will just use the 18 meter sail. If there's not that much wind, they'll use a 29 meter sail. And they're currently using the 24 meter sail for most of their races. As you can see, I've included all the details like the seats and even the steering wheel and the hydro foils at the bottom. Throughout most of the designing process, I had to estimate where everything was because I didn't have that much reference material. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys the history of me making it. So as you can see, I used the reference image to make the basic shape. Now I'm just making the hull. Um, it was quite difficult to get that shape, that curved shape. So I was just using the loft tool to connect the twin hulls. And now I'm just making the front part of the hull. Now I've mirror I've copied the hull so I can just put that connector piece at the back as well. I made room for the nets because they actually have nets on the boats. So if they fall, they just fall onto the nets. Okay, now I'm making the sail. I changed this quite a lot throughout the building process because there are other reference images that I found which were more accurate. Now I'm just making the sail. The other sail, the sail at the front. You have to make this quite thin because that's it's like a fabric sail. Now I'm making the hydrofoils, they go at the bottom. This allows the boats to fly over the water and reach their high speeds. I've cut the model in two so I can mirror whatever I do on one side to the other. I do this for quite a lot of my builds so I don't have to do it two times and also I can make it exactly symmetrical. I think now I'm just working on the seats and the steering wheel. Now I'm going to mirror it again soon. Okay, now I'm just making the decals. This was part of the challenge for my school, so I tried to make it unique. So, yes, I'm just adjusting the sail to make sure it's 18 centimeters, because this is the 18 centimeter sail. For the print that I do later, I actually made it so the sail was a one A4 paper. This is so I could print all the decals on it. So it's around one to eighty to one scale. So yes, here are all the decals. I'm quite happy with it. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I transfer the decals onto Photoshop so I can print them. So here is the Soldier PF50 model on Fusion 360. So here the boat is in the render workspace but you can also switch it back to the design workspace if you want to work on the physical model. 
With render, you can actually change the color, the decals, and even the lighting of the model. So as you can see, if I want to move this New Zealand flag, I can just edit the decal here, and I can move it. The render workspace is very useful to make sure that all of the decals are in the right place. After that is done, I take a screenshot of the boat and work on the decals on Photoshop for it to be printed on the photo paper. Now I'm going to show you guys the file of the sails on Photoshop. So here are the Photoshop files of the sails. I just use Photoshop to make sure that there's no mistakes in any of the sails and to make sure they look the best to then be printed on the real model. I also use Photoshop to make sure the sizing of the decals are right because you can actually adjust the file size to be in centimeters to then be printed out in that size. And finally, this is how I slice the model in flash print to be then printed on my 3D printer. When slicing this model, I had to make sure that there was no overhangs because then it would mess up the boat. So I had to slice it in half and also had to slice the front bits off because my printer only prints at a scale of a 15 centimeter cube. And my boat was a bit longer than that. So I had to glue that when it printed. So as you can see here, I'm making sure that all the parts of the boat can fit on the platform. Also, some of the parts of the boat not, might not print perfectly the first time, such as the hydrofoils because they're so small. And I did actually have to print them again. But with this file, I can just choose the pieces that I want to print again. Another thing I have to do is to make sure that all of the parts of the boat are flat on the base. So then the, the nozzle doesn't get mixed up and print in the air. I hope you guys like this insider look on how I made the F50 CLGP model. Um, if you guys want to see another country, like I said in part one, then just comment down below. If you like the video, then please like. And if you, see, if you want to see more content like this, then please subscribe. And see you guys in the next video.